can get left-handed shotguns and rifles. Yes, the stock of a shotgun typically has a slight, well, I mean, in layman's terms, a bit of a kink in it, so that as you hold it, the barrel becomes in line with your eye. But if you want to fire it left-handed, obviously you have to make the stock, the wooden bit, the other way around. But not everybody recognises this, because the British Army famously commissioned an assault rifle that you couldn't use left-handedly, because the ejector slot for the spent cartridges was about there. So if you're a lefty, every time you fired it, the hot cartridge hit you in the eyeball. Hopeless. It's no wonder we lost the empire, really. Now, lefties are more angry and historically better at fighting because they have the advantage of surprise using their dominant left fist, I suppose. Um, I don't know any left-handers who are fighty. I know... Yeah, actually, the left-handed people I know aren't particularly angry, I don't think, or at least they're not angry about being left-handed. The weird thing is that all the left-handed people I've known in life I don't really like, but I don't think that means anything. I think that is just an enormous coincidence. There are only a few of them, so it's not a big enough sample. I think they just happen to be rather unpleasant people. That they are left-handed is coincidental. I've got a pair of left-handed scissors somewhere in a drawer, and I don't know how I came by them, but they are... they do feel wrong. The interesting thing is in metalwork you have left-handed and right-handed tin snips for cutting very thin sheet metal and that actually indicates which side the cutaway bit goes so on let me get this right right-handed tin snips the waste falls away to that side so you can go around a left-hand bend am i getting this right cameraman yes on the left-handed tin snips you can follow a curve that way and the waste falls to that side but they're both right-handed tools it would be quite difficult to use them with your left hand or would it i don't know that might just be because i'm right-handed yeah, being normal can be a burden sometimes. I think we all know that not that long ago in history, probably less than 100 years ago, people who were left-handed, school children, were often forced. They, you know, people tried to train them to be right-handed because that would be better for them. They wouldn't be so weird. So they would have their left hands restrained, you know, tied to their legs or tied behind their backs or touched with burning hot irons or something to try and get them to write left hand. But of course it doesn't work. My sister is sort of half left-handed. It's weird, actually, because she writes right-handedly, but she eats left-handed. She puts a knife and fork the other way around, which I find very strange. But then, I mean, she's my sister. So you're definitely right-handed? I'm definitely right-handed, but I can do... I can't write with my left hand, but I can, you know, I can play the piano and I can, I can manipulate things with two hands. Um, what else can I do with two hands? Oh, yeah, I can do all that stuff. That's, I mean, that's quite easy, really. Um, things that I find very difficult to do left-handed are hold a pen. I can't really do it with my right hand, if I'm honest. And the other great, the great game that we like to play down the pub is wrong hand darts. So you have a game of darts, but you have to throw with your wrong hand, which in my case is the left. One of the guys is left-handed, so he has to throw with his right hand. And it's great because, you know, if you don't have to play darts very much before you become quite good at, at the technique. But as soon as you try it with your wrong hand, you sort of go, like that, and the dart just hits a piece of furniture. But it's hours and hours of innocent fun. Except for the people and the dogs who are in the way of the darts, obviously. Left-handed throwing is another good game. Or I should say, to be politically correct, non-dominant arm throwing. <laughs>